guys, I'm back with the flower thief, and let's get started right away. Let me settle this. Where are we going, Grandpa? Asked Ben. I don't want to tell you until we arrive, said Grandpa with a smile. But you'll, but you'll like it. We're going to see some of the most amazing living things in the world. Ben and Rosie's friends, Max and Alice, were in the van too. They were all feeling excited. Where was Grandpa taking them? A new place with lots of amazing animals? Well, that is a zoo. Clark stopped the van. We're here, he said. The children looked out of the window. They were at the city's gardens. Really? said Max. So we're not going to see any animals today or amazing places? asked Ben. We're going to see lots of amazing plants, said Grandpa. This week, we are there. This week, there are some very strange and interesting plants inside the glass houses. They're called orchards. After that, we can look at the flower gardens outside. Grandpa looked at the sign next to the gate, and then he looked at his watch. Oh dear, he said. The gardens are going to close soon. He thought for a minute. We don't have. Time to do both things. Who wants to come to see the orchards with me? I do," said Alice. "I do," said Alice. "Me too," said Rosie. "Clunk, you can show the gardens to the boys," said Grandpa. Max didn't look very excited. "Don't you like flowers?" asked Clunk. "They're okay," said Max. They're better than okay," said Clunk. "Follow me." He start. He started to go in the van again. "Where are you going?" asked Ben. He pointed to a sign. "We have to walk that way to the gardens." <laughs> it's like a robot thingy voice of mine. "We are not going to walk," Clunk laughed. <laughs> We are going to fly. Chapter two. Clunk pushed a button, and the van got, and the van got smaller and smaller. Wings grew from it. We're as little as a bee, said Clunk. He pushed another button, and now we are the same colors as a bee to yellow and black. Great," said Ben. "Let's go." Clunk began to fly the van to the gardens. Because the van was so little, the flowers in the gardens looked big and strange to the boys. There are so many different shapes and colors," said Ben. Clunk flew the van close to a beautiful butterfly on the flower. "What's it doing?" asked Ben. "It's drinking the sweet nectar inside the flower," said Clunk. Wow," said Ben. "I am not going to do the robot voice. It's kind of embarrassing, you know." Ben pointed at another insect that was flying past them. "Look, that be like those yellow and blue flowers. Different insects and birds get nectar from different flowers," explained Conk. "Bees usually like ones that smell sweet." Then they take the nectar back to their hive and make honey with it. I love honey," said Max. The bee left the flower and started to fly away. It's going back to the hive," said Clunk. "Perhaps it's going to tell the other bees about these flowers. How can it do that?" asked Max. "I know," said Ben. "Bees do a kind of a dance and..." In the hive, the pattern of the dance tells other bees where to find the right flower. Wow," said Max. "Grandpa was right. Flowers were are amazing." Chapter three. Grandpa, Rosie, and Alice were in one of the big glass houses. It's hot in here," said Rosie. "It has to be hot," Grandpa said. Grandpa. All these plants come from places that were warmer than our country. Alice pointed to a sign. 
The orchards are that way," she said. Grandpa looked at his watch again. Fantastic! We'll have still have a few minutes to see them before the garden closes. But then they arrive. But then they arrived at the orchard's room. A man stopped them at the door. "I'm sorry," he said. "You can't. You can't come in here." He looked very unhappy. Grandpa read the man's name on his fridge. "What's wrong, Doctor Lee?" he asked. He is Doctor Lee. Doctor Lee was the scientist who looked after the plants in the gardens. Grandpa quickly explained that he was a science scientist too. Can we help? He asked. Grandpa and the girls followed Doctor Lee into the orchard room. Look at this," said Doctor Lee. He pointed at a small hole in the soil. This morning there was an orchard here. There were other holes in the soil too. Some of our orchards were growing on these other plants," said Doctor Lee. "They've gone too. Someone has stolen them." "Really?" said Rosie. "Are there people who want to steal flowers?" "Yes," said Doctor Lee. "There aren't very many of orchards in the world, so people sell can sell them and lot of money." Grandpa was studying one of the holes. The thief only took this a few minutes ago. He said, "If you're quick, perhaps we can catch him." Okay, so you know who knows. It is the thief is a him or a her. I don't know. Chapter four. Doctor Lee, Grandpa, and the girls ran out outside quickly. The gardens were going to close soon. So. And most of the people were already walking to the gate. Alice pointed to them. One of those people is probably the thief, she said. But which one? It may be any of them. You're right," said Doctor Lee unhappily. We can't stop everyone. Suddenly, Rose's cell phone rang. It was Ben. He started to tell all her all about the bees and the flowers, and but Rosie stopped him. She explained quickly about the flower thief. How can we help? Asked Ben. I don't think that you can," said Rosie. But then she smiled. "Excuse me, Doctor Lee," she said. "Does bees like any of the orchards that had have gone?" "Yes," answered Doctor Lee. "There's one orchard that has a strong smell that bees love. Why do you ask?" Rosie smiled. "I have an idea," she said. Then she spoke to the into the phone again. "Listen carefully, Ben." When he when he put down his cell phone, Ben said, "Go on online, please, Clunk. We need to know more about the bee dance." A minute later, Clunk was flying the van fast. Be careful, shouted Max. You're going to hit that hive. We're not going to hit it, said Ben. We are going inside it. Why? asked Ben. We have to do our bee dance with the right pattern, explained Ben. When the bee will go the go. The way we want. Clunk flew the van in the dark hive. I don't want you to see this picture. Chapter five. A few minutes later, the van came out of the hive. The boys watched as the bees flew. Start. Few bees started to fly out too. I hope they understood our dance," said Ben. We want them to fly to the gate. Doctor Lee, Grandpa, and the girls were watching too. Look," said Alice. "They're flying close to that man with the green bag. They can smell something in that bag," said Rosie. "Tada! The thief is the orange bag. Don, don, da!" <laughs> the man was trying to hit the V. Bees away with one hand. He did not see Doctor Lee was walking to him. Excuse me, Doctor Lee said. Please, can we look inside your bag? The man started to run to the gate, but the bees were still all around him. He fell over and dropped his bag. The bag opened on the ground. Look, said Rosie. He has all the orchards in his bag. Oh no, the flowers are dead. 
No. Two police officers arrived quickly. The thief was going to sell the orchards online, one of them explained. As the police officers took the thief away, Dr. Lee took the orchards back to their room in the glass house. I must put these back in the ground. He said, if I'm quick, they'll be okay. We'll help you, said Grandpa. They all walked to the glass houses. When the van was big again, Ben and Max ran to see the others. How can I thank you all, said Dr. Lee. He took some keys out of his pocket. I know, please come and have something to eat in our cafe. In the cafe, Max pointed and at one plate and smiled. Look, he said, there's a cake with honey from the garden's bees. Lesson number two, or number one, uh, yeah, lesson number one. Choose and write from the correct words. This is an orchard, and this is the world. This is not a place. This is a garden, and this is plants. Well, yep. I hope you enjoyed The Flower Thief with Lily's Fun Book Club. And please give a good thumbs up and a subscribe so I can give you more videos. Have a good day. Bye.